Hello everyone, how's it going? So I have made two videos about the Geeks for Geeks courses. So I've made one review of the DSSL phase course and I've also made one review of the complete interview preparation course. So some people were asking me to compare between these two courses. So some people wanted to know which course they should take. So they wanted me to review both of these courses in one video. So here I am making a comparison between these two courses and I'll also tell you which course you should take depending on your situation. So starting at the pricing, the DSSL phase course is priced at 3899 and the complete interview preparation course is priced at 699. So the price of this is almost the double as the DSSL phase course. And DSSL phase course only covers DSA while the complete interview preparation course covers everything that you need for your placement preparation. So the first thing that people ask me is whether the DSA part of complete interview preparation course is the same as the DSA course itself. So DSA self phase course starts from analysis of algorithm and here you can see that the DSA part of this also starts analysis of algorithm and the content is pretty similar and some videos are exactly the same but there is still a little bit of difference between the two and I would say that the DSA self phase course is a little bit more in depth about the DSA because this is, this is focused entirely on DSA while this has everything you need for placements. So DSA self phase course is just a little bit more in depth than the DSA part of CIP course. Okay, and both of the courses are being taught by Sandeep Jain. So Sandeep Jain is the mentor of both of these courses. So all of the lectures and the videos are taught by Sandeep Jain. You can know more about him. He's a great teacher. So the DSA self phase course starts like this. It has prerequisite part. Then it has analysis of algorithm, array, recursion, and then it moves on to link list and then more difficult topics like binary search tree, graph, heap, and it also goes to dynamic programming algorithm, backtracking algorithms. And likewise, the DSA part of CIP also starts from analysis of algorithm, arrays, recursion. So, and then this it covers everything in the basics level. Then it teaches the library of the programming language. Then it moves on to the advanced part of the DSA. So this is how the modules are. Apart from the video lectures, both of these courses have MCQs as well. So you'll be given problems, you'll be given MCQs. And also you can see that you, you have MCQs, you have problems. And apart from that, you also have contests. So you can give contests, you'll be given a rank based on your score. Here also you can give contests and you'll be given a rank based on your score. So these things are similar in both of the courses. But obviously, like I mentioned before, complete interview preparation course teaches you everything from scratch that you need for placements. So if you look at the modules of the complete interview preparation course, it starts at the programming language. It also covers resume building, like how you should prepare your resume. Then it starts for programming language. It teaches you both C++ and Java from scratch. And afterwards it moves to data structure basics. Then like I said, it teaches you the libraries like STL and collection. Then it moves to DSA advanced. Then it also has object oriented design, which is something necessary for placements. It also has theory part like computer subjects and it also has aptitude as well. And not only that, it also has some mock coding rounds that you can give for practice and it also has some projects as well. So the complete interview preparation course covers every little thing that you need for placements. So this has every small thing that you would need for your placements. While DSA self phase course only covers the DSA part, but it covers that in depth. Okay. So obviously you would be getting this doubt about what course you should take because there's a price difference. If there was no price difference, then obviously you could have gone for just the complete interview preparation course. But the price of this is more than the DSSL page course price. So which one should you take? So if you're in your first year and you have a lot of time on your hand, you're not worried about placements for now and you just want to learn DSA. Or if you're not worried about other things, you just want to learn DSA, you just want to focus on DSA then you can go ahead and take the data structure and algorithm self phase course. And if you're paying for placements, if, you're a, if your placements are in three months, six months, within one year, and you have to prepare everything for placements, you have to start your preparation from scratch, then without a doubt, you can take complete interview preparation course. Because this course covers every little thing that you will be needing for your placement preparation. So that's a good thing about the CIP course. But again, it depends on you. If you want to cover everything else, somewhere, everything else from other resources and you just want to focus on DSA fully, then this course would be the right one for you. If you're in first year, the beginning of second year, then you can take this course. 
but if you have a timeline in your hand you have to cover everything within a short time you have to appear for placements and you have to prepare every little thing then go ahead with the complete interview preparation course so based on your situation you can take whichever course you like and don't forget to use code ashish to get 10% off on all the geeks so geeks courses so you can use code ashish to get 10% off the code will appear in the screen and i'll also give the code in the description box you can check it out and you can use the code ashish to get 10% off throughout all geeks for geeks courses okay so you can check the courses out whichever one you like you can purchase it don't forget to use code ashish and if you still if you if you still having doubts about which one you should take then simply leave a comment and i'll be sure to get back to you so that's all thank you